What are the best solar panels to put on your Australian roof in 2022? Well, I think the best people to answer this question are professional Australian solar installers, because these installers work with the different panel brands every day, and they must support those panels for the duration of their warranties. Some brands can have 40 year long warranties. Over the last 13 years, I've built a network of over 400 solar installers that I've personally vetted and trust who provide quotes through my website, solarquotes.com.au. I recently surveyed this network of installers about their favorite solar panel brands. I asked them two questions. One, what solar panels would you put on your roof in 2022 if money was no object? And two, what solar panels would you put on your roof in 2022 if money was tight and every dollar counts? The results demonstrate what brands the installers trust for both top of the range solar systems and just as importantly, for quality budget systems. Before I dive into the results for both questions, I'll take a moment to emphasize that while choosing a good brand is important, you also need to ensure the system is well installed. The difference between a good and bad solar installation makes all the difference. Now, on to the winners. First up, the top end money's no object category. Third place, goes to Hanwha Q-Cells. Hanwha Q-Cells was founded in Germany in 1999. As Q-Cells, after going bankrupt, the South Korean giant Hanwha swept in and bought them. Hanwha Q-Cells was born. Ah! Q-Cells have several panel models available in Australia, all made in different countries with different product warranty lengths. The cheapest panel they offer is the Q-Max, made in China, with a 15 year product warranty. Their mid-range panel is the Q-Boost, made in Malaysia with an 18 year product warranty. Finally, their premium offering, the Q-Peak Duo, made in South Korea with a 25 year product warranty. Expect to pay about 25% more for the flagship Q-Peak Duo compared to the Q-Max or Q-Boost panels. On the Solar Quotes website, Q-Cells currently have 1,194 Australian reviews with a really good average score of 4.8 out of 5. A common theme among the reviews is their excellent low light performance. To quote two recent customer reviews, appear to work well, good production, even on cloudy days. And the system is producing power from very early in the morning to late in the afternoon. It's performing well. Well done Q-Cells. Moving on. Second place goes to... REC, or as I call them, REC Solar. REC makes their panels in Singapore and offers a variety of models in their lineup, all of which come with a whopping 25 year product warranty, if installed by a REC certified installer. Their most affordable range is their Twin Peak series. As a mid range offering, they have the N Peak. Finally, their highest end offering is the Alpha series. They've also recently launched the Alpha Pure series which contains no lead in its production and no swear words on the data sheets. On the Solar Quotes website, Rex Solar has 652 reviews with an average score of 4.8 out of 5. That's a really good average score. One recent reviewer commented, we got alpha black panels and we're really pleased. They look great and they're performing really well. And now, drum roll please. First place goes to SunPower. SunPower has always been one of the go-to premium panels for Australian solar installers. In February this year, they announced that they were bumping up the product warranty of their flagship Maxian series panels to an astonishing 40 years. I'll probably be dead in 40 years. Their 25 year product warranty was already impressive and this takes it to another level. I love SunPower panels. However, their top end Maxian panels are very pricey. Expect to pay two to three times more per watt than a good budget panel. If you still want the SunPower brand but prefer to spend a little less money, their P series shingled panels are worth consideration at almost half the cost of the Maxium. If you're a microinverter fan, you can get AC versions of all the SunPower models. They have an N phase microinverter pre installed at the factory. So that's the money's no object category. We don't all have the budget for top end brands. So which ones won the best value every dollar counts category? Well, third place goes to a joint winner, Canadian Solar and Q-Cells. 
With an equal percentage of votes, 10%, our installers ranked Canadian Solar and Qcells equally. I spoke about Qcells earlier, but I'll comment that I'm not surprised they took third place in the Every Dollar Counts category because of their more budget conscious Qmax and Qboost series of panels. They're offering great value for money. Now, despite making their panels in China and not Canada, Canadian Solar has a good reputation in Australia as an affordable and reliable panel. They score an average of 4.7 out of 5 compared to Qcells 4.8 with 1,573 reviews on Solar Quotes. Second place goes to Jinko Solar. Jinko is one of the largest solar panel manufacturers globally and is very common in Australia. They score an average of 4.7 stars out of 5 with 1,664 reviews from Australian owners at the time of filming. First place goes to Trina Solar. They're an even bigger manufacturer than Jinko, ranking as the joint second largest solar panel manufacturer globally. Australian consumers rate Trina really well, with a score of 4.7 stars out of 5 from 1,305 Trina solar panel reviews. So there you have it, the best solar panels in Australia as rated by Australian solar installers who know what they're talking about. If you're looking to get quotes for solar from installers I've personally vetted and trust, visit my website, solarquotes.com.au. Pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there.